It was literally like free money, which was quite the opposite feeling that I normally have when I'm thinking about insurance or banks. When those come to mind, I don't think free money. Guys, did you realize your insurance can actually save you a lot of money? <laughs> well, bear with me, see what you think. I do wanna welcome you back because this is gonna be a super valuable and even better yet ridiculously easy cash flow tip that can immediately improve your bottom line right away. So let's get right into it. Now, it seems super obvious, but time has this really freaky way of slipping by, and before you know it, two or three years have passed, and then you realize, man, it's been an awfully long time since I checked my insurance policies, because guess what? They might not be serving you the way they should. Now, not only might this be one of the most valuable ways to spend even just a few minutes of your time, and I have the checks here to prove it, but there are actually quite a few reasons that it's gonna be really important for you to do this. Take a few minutes each year. The first is life changes. I mean, obviously things change, right? And maybe you moved or you got a new car or your family size changed. Maybe your health situation's different. And these can all affect what you need from your insurance and how much you pay. In my case, I've had several major, major changes over the past few years. For starters, I decided to take the home I'm in and remove it off of the short-term rental platforms after the rental season ended this fall so that I could use it personally and focus all the time and effort that I was putting into sharing it as a short-term rental host into building my other companies, especially my local sewer company here. Now, even though I made a quarter million some odd dollars, almost a quarter million over the past several seasons, and I even still got to use the house the majority of the year, it was a lot of work just to uproot myself and prepare for guests. I had to keep moving in and out throughout the year. And I found that property's potential is exponentially higher just staying in it and using the land in order to scale my sewer company. Previously, I was using the short-term rental specific insurance, which offered better protection as a host, but it did cost more. So that was a very nice savings when I removed those coverages. In addition to that, I was actually able uh, to dispute our liability insurance application and discovered that it was heavily in favor of my carrier. So I reached out to my agent, I resubmitted the projections for 2024, and they even reduced the cost from 17,250 a year to 12,970 for that business. So man, it was a lot. And there are many, many life changes that can affect your coverage over time too. So it's really important to revisit this annually. The insurance world is always changing, and that's the second reason to look into this. There's new options, there's different coverage, and then there's changing prices. So keeping an eye on this can really help you snag a better deal or coverage that fits you better now. The third reason to check your insurance annually is because, and this is my personal favorite, and it was a total win when I was able to save a ton of cash, but not only did I save over $4,000 on liability insurance, like I mentioned before, but I spent less than 30 minutes with a, a great agent it was somebody that was recommended to me on Facebook, so it was a referral. And all I did was send over a couple documents, my deck pages for my current insurance, and bam, $6,000 a year. In fact, because my premiums had already been prepaid through my escrows, I was sent three checks totaling $6,200 to refund me for those, and my payments stayed the same. It was literally like free money, which was quite the opposite feeling that I normally have when I'm thinking about insurance or banks. When those come to mind, I don't think free money. But next year, my payments will actually reduce by 500 bucks every single month. That's an extra $500 in free cash flow every year moving forward for doing nothing more than just spending 30 minutes of my time. And so this falls into the work smart, not hard category. I tell you what too, getting a win against the insurance is so sweet too. It's the same feeling that uh, uh, I'm gonna have when I cash in over $4,000 in cash back points that have stacked up through Chase right now uh, at the end of the year as well. Actually, I'll do it right in the beginning of the year. I'm gonna just cash in that 4,000. But paying taxes, paying interest, paying insurance, these are my nightmare. And I just calculated my insurance costs for my sewer company last week, and they've now climbed to over $54,000 for 2024 between liability, vehicle, workman's comp policies, which means I'm paying 4,500 bucks a month out of pocket for something that I'm literally praying I never even have to use. That's crazy. So to get a nice amount of cash back 
handed to me from an insurance company or, or a bank again, there's just something that feels like you're, you're finally beating the system. So make sure you look into it because you may end up with thousands and thousands of dollars and thousands a year. So let's move on because there are even more really important reasons to get your annual insurance audit reminders. Set those in your phone. Put those reminders in for yourself. The fourth reason is the right amount of coverage. Because guess what? Over time, the value of your stuff, like your house and your car, it might change. Or you might have more things to protect. Regular check-ins are going to make sure that you're not under or over insured. Either way matters. So always lean into playing things safe and covering your rear end. I mean, be conservative, protect yourself at all costs. But remember, overdoing it is going to be a waste of your money. Now, the fifth reason on my list is policy updates. Insurance companies sometimes change the rules or they change what they cover. And an annual check will, will make sure that your policy is still going to work great for you and that you're aware of any new stuff that might be in the fine print. Another reason is great new features. Insurers are often adding new perks. They might have new options that could be perfect for you. I mean, they have the bundling opportunities and so on. So insurance companies often offer discounts for bundling multiple policies together, like your home and your auto. And if your current provider doesn't offer bundled options, shopping around might actually lead you to somebody, a, a provider, a carrier that can offer those perks and of course, savings on top of it. Next is your risk. I mean, your risk is gonna change too. Lots of things could change about your risk level. I mean, getting older, different health scenarios, changes in your lifestyle, changes in uh, your neighborhood. Updating your insurance makes sure that it actually is gonna match your current situation. Number eight on my list is actually gonna be that there are new rules and sometimes those changes in new insurance laws or in regulations are going to mean your stuff is out of date. So you've gotta get in there and make sure you're compliant regularly. So put that reminder in your phone, folks. And that's it, I'm gonna wrap it up. Checking your insurance policies each year is key. It's gonna make sure you have the right coverage that's cost effective and that it suits exactly what you need. Trust me, guys. Right in time for Christmas too, baby. Look at that. What is this one? Over, this one's 13, what, 1,378. 5,000. And 2,592. What did I say, 6,200? What am I talking about? What am I talking about? It's like nine grand here, right? Nine grand. And after next year, because my Again, I'm, I, my payment stays the same for now, but after next year, 500 bucks off every single month in free cash flow. It's like I went out there and bought a house, baby, because I spent 30 minutes on the phone. So well worth it. Guys, until we see you on the next video, make it a great day today and keep on cash flowing. See you soon. Bye-bye.